of this beautiful C7. I wanted to get the story behind this car. Everyone's been eyeballing it. We did immediately when we got here. Tell us what you got going on here. Yeah, I want to do something different other than a traditional Mustang in this class. <laughs> yeah. So I decided to buy a brand new 2014 Corvette off the showroom floor. Got it home immediately. Took it apart. It's been about an 18. It had 76 miles. Okay, 76. yeah, whatever. 76. Uh, had to take the wife out to dinner at least once. <laughs> Turned it over to Frankie Tavern to take it apart. Obviously, my good friend over at Stevens Race Cars, Rick Stevens Race Cars. Yeah. He completely cut it apart. It's a full billet rear end from Tempe Amos. Then contacted Eric with ProMine, our longtime engine builders. Oh, yeah. I asked him I wanted something different instead of a 481. We all agreed that the Hemi was the power plant of the future in this class and then drag racing period. So that's the what direction we went. How big is this Hemi? It's an Outlaw uh, 548, three-speed transmission, the Precision Turbo 102s. Couldn't show up with 98s, had to go with 102s. Yeah, of course. You know, if you take a look at the car in detail, you can see it still has a VIN number. The whole body structure itself is factory. Um, the roof is factory, the hatch comes off. Oh, the top comes off still? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We, we had it off our own, we needed to get up in there. Gotta let the, the wind blow through your hair yeah. at 200 and whatever miles an hour. Uh, factory quarter panels, all this is all factory. The factory deck lid. I did have to, since it was such a new and unique car, there were no parts for it. I had to consult with one of my friends who got me in touch with another friend at Roe Yale at Carbon Fiber Technologies. Oh. And I gave him my doors at first. He made the doors. The doors fit absolutely wonderful. If you look and see, it still has the weather stripping on it too, so it does make a tight seal. It's, it's pretty trick. Using the fuel tech for them? Using yeah, the fuel, fuel tech. tech. Yeah, they're a big help too. They are here on site. They the help the Proline fuel tech, like the they're, first 15 spots here, it seems like. Yeah, that's okay. Well, these four are mine, so. <laughs> Those things are a work of art. Attention oh, to you. detail is, is very clear. What's this addiction to radial racing? We sit around and ask ourselves, yeah. why do we do this? <laughs> it's fun. If we were, we're not doing it to actually earn a living, oh, if you know course. what I mean, to me, this is a pure hobby. If this car had to sit for anything, it wouldn't hurt my feelings one yeah. bit, but we like to, this is what we do. Good, good luck in uh, round one. Well, we'll see what happens. We're going to go out there and do our best. I think I got the right man behind the wheels. Oh, so. yeah. We'll be keeping an eye on it. All right, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, guys. Good luck.